DIQ is going to have a big amount of the climb because he's going to have to win two sets against Mazu G. Pretty big. Well, <laughs> pretty high price to pay for that duel, am I right? Yep. I still didn't hear him, is right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stonehall doesn't care about you. That's a nice curve. You're just a spoke on I the just got back. <laughs> oh, Ooh. And that yeah, that's a crack and shell you have to take, but look, look at his hand now. He has the smash and spring and TOT. Man. He <laughs> desperately needs four drops right now. Yeah, he keeps getting so cock blocked by his deck, man. Yeah. Wow, that smash feels so bad right now. <laughs> the mall and now the smash, but let's see, man. Let's see. Yeah, and I have to say, Wuhek, great hand, like a bunch of options, has the TOT ready, the call will get online in the mid game, but you know, just for now, for these early rounds, hmm. Just really good hand. Now, do you duel the Bristol to get that sweet, sweet armor? Uh, it involves losing another trade, so I don't think so now. And there's no real better place to put the stone hall, so I think you take the trade. Or not? Okay. I guess he really wants that curve of his own here, but... Spot. Very nice. Gonna get this to one health right here and he pulls his other spot he's just got two right no he's got all three yeah and the iq's only option here is really to drop the stone hall for a jump block and that feels absolutely horrible i don't think you even still go for it you're only going down to... mm -hmm. i guess he wants to put in last or still just hold on to it because that's kind of his only card you know but he's losing resources by not putting it down Okay, there it goes. No curve. We won't let Stone Hall down. So, probably spot, because everything else looks bad. You lose with the duel, so... No real reason to take that. Not too bad. And here's the question. How much do you want to spend right now, and how much do you want to hold for your Merc? He goes for the heal salve instead of the blink to hold himself at four. I kind of feel that. like when you have the Merc in lane three, and there's a really low axe in the mid, and so on, I don't think you need to save money. Do you? Um. I mean, I have seen some mercs get completely out of control in wind lanes. I have seen that happen, but I think that's not the rule. Two, four seems like a healthy amount to put in there. I always feel nervous about putting all my money into mercs. So the thing is, he's not going to have four. He's going to kill creeps, potentially kill axe or whatever. Um, so if he's gonna put gold into it, he's gonna put nine or no mercy potentially. For trespassers. That Jasper's is so good right now. Forces another item and saves yourself. Obviously, you want your Jasper's later. He only ha he has two of them, but maybe you pop that shit right now. No, okay. His stone hall is still growing, so he still sees it as a successful lane. But it's quite possible we see a phase boot swap now because he doesn't want. That might be Something why, this? like maybe well, he read into because the IQ only uh, has Jasper's and phase boots at five. He probably Don't read Blink and I'm phase boots. Wonderful, and he just that was Wu Hex's main objective here. Yeah. Overtaking the trade was just ensuring the stone hole grows. Next level. So now do you take the Jaspers and heal? You're dominating this lane if you do. Maybe I feel like Jaspers so much. You know? It's such a tool in this matchup. He could have still saved it. Doesn't He wants to hold those resources. I mean the rest of the board is still kind of in his favor, so I think it's probably the right call. And as is, if he doesn't kill the axe, he's gonna have five gold. <clears throat> Excuse me. If he um if he drops the bearer and kills the axe, okay, I will fight by your side. Get stonehold right there. I understand my orders. 
So it feels like he really wants to... He didn't want to kill the axe so he could drop the gold into the exiles. Is that it? I'm not sure. Um, oh, that's Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think we might be thinking a little bit too hard about this, uh... Mm -hmm. Merc. That's a Dodges blink answer, once again, though. But if you're not thinking about the Merc, then why do you not try to kill the X with the... Uh... You just want a tower damage? Okay. Interesting. He's sacking lane one. Okay. Oh, well. And uh, he kind of got him right there, because he's, he's really... Okay, so this is some condition right here. If you follow this whole set, DIQ is going incredibly defensively and just pushing for lane one every single game. So this game, Wuhex saying, you know what, I'll just give it to you and I'll push the other two in. There's no pillager in hand. He is going to get rewarded for that because that's pretty risky. However, um, he does have one blink. He can take one hero out of here, but after he does, that's his money. He needs to get kills if he wants to get more mobility. This advantage of giving up lane one is, is precisely that the heroes can kind of compensate by moving forward in time, if you will. Um, yeah, risky play, but like you said, like the, the, in the previous games, both players super played into lane one. Like both the lane one is always super congested, including the storm games actually. But, um, I won't be dying anytime soon. He's actually not taking that much damage yet. He Kraken's right here, and I'm really surprised because he. Don't... I guess he wants the heal. Hey. To save himself from Axe dying, and now he's got three healthy. That being said, he's fully sacked lane three now. All he's going to be able to buy is a TP if he gets it, because he can't get Blink. So, with a TP in hand for Wuhek, he's going to be able to. Swiftly take the last lane and then ensure a four on three with the TP. Probably take uh, Tide Hunter out of there, and with the Kraken shell used from DIQ, he's gonna have to pull another one if he wants an issue. I'd be very surprised if Wu Hex line of play is not Town Portal Scroll into Kraken shell in the last lane. Yeah, makes sense. We will show them Stone That's Ball's hurt. But hey, sometimes the hardest plays are the correct ones. So. Prevents a bunch of tower damage. Saves heroes. Clogs up the ground a little bit. And he doesn't elect to TP LC. He still wants to get himself out of this lane. You can put the, the Merc right there. That's a lot better anyway. We'll fight for Okay. For a price. Not a oh common occurrence. The whole exiles. No. No, but that should be sufficient to take the lane on their own. It's going to take oh, yeah. a couple turns, but it's looking great. This 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 game's going to go on for a while. The showdown is going to be in lane. And God, look at that smash. That sucks. He needs Kraken Shell right here because initiative is huge. That's two guaranteed stuns for Wu Heck. No Jasper uh, Daggers in hand for no blink the IQ. For the IQ yeah. He gets spring. That's all he has. But another spring for Wuhek coming in from lane 3. Spring's lane 3. Wow. Really wants to slow that lane down. Okay. Uh, he might feel like he's got time to get a blink and he's like over there. Does he? He still needs more money. He didn't pull TP right there. He doesn't have initiative right here, and and suddenly, okay, Wu Hex Tide Hunter says it's my turn now. Oh, and he failed last game, but he's he said, "Look at me, Wu Hex, I'm gonna stun everybody." Bam. He and he doesn't elect to go for, and he he springs last instead of springing here. I guess he's so wide here. Can he? He can come very, very close to capping this tower right here and now, actually. Yep. How much does he have? Is he there? He's oh, he's so close. Oh, just one short, it seems to me. But look how wide he is. And 
with one more deployment, there's going to be no way for him to stop yeah. this, right? And it prevents TOT in mid, because he can't TOT if he's got to Berserker Skull or prevent damage. He's losing one Merc here, but... Oh, <laughs> I was just about to say, do you, do you go for that? Yeah, you've got better options for next round, so when are you... I mean, when are you Guess otherwise going to use eh? that Berserker Skull? And you need this tower damage. You have to avoid the IQ blinking over or managing to somehow go to lane 3. And the IQ Did is you say blink? Goals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he's got the blink on I guess the tides. He and he cannot buy one That's this true. round, but he can still blink the tide. If there's no other way to save mid, he might have to just go over and try to get a huge ravage on lane 3, but with the LC coming in, Wuhak is looking really good. And it's TOT round. The Jasper Daggers is trump call, trump card, because even with the insane ravage, he can uh, Jaspers onto Bristleback, which cannot be primaled or dueled or anything, and then he can TOT his hero. And he's got TOT in last. Uh, the comeback, uh, he has to save Tidestone for last. That's all there is. What? <laughs> what? He has to be feeling like he's not going to be able to use them uh, here away. Um, he just gave initiative away. Yeah, um, I don't... He gets... I don't... Cause he doesn't have an item in exactly. hand, he's free primal. You, this game is over. He, he gave that to him. He had to blink to last. He needed the initiative because there's no item in hand. It's a free primal. Did he not consider primal? What the hell? TOT and last is GG, and there's yeah, nothing to play into the last lane. There's nothing he can do. He was counting absolutely. This blink was absolutely crucial. And I gotta say, like, I don't think that there was. I know the tide stun was huge, but I feel like Wu Heck outplayed him really, really hard this game With the because deploys. he. Yeah, with the deploys. With the lane 1 sack, he's been raiding him the whole set with the lane 1. And then, um, because Diaki's just been favoring it way too much. He said, I know exactly where and this is the part where I sack lane 3. Bam. And or lane 1. It looks I'll like this is the end like of Diaki's lower bracket run. It was a good one. And look at that perfect plus 8. The IQ Boom. crossing his fingers, hoping that there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he goes the alternative route. If I, I thought he was going to be a TNT. Uh, that's just as good. Wow. What a series. And uh, you know what this means? This means we get Wu uh, We get to see Wu trying to get revenge on Mez next week. Yeah, oh, I'm man. excited. <laughs> Uh, the IQ had a great run. I think he was many people's uh, favorite at the beginning of the ACS. Wu Heck? Um, um, the IQ. I think a lot of oh. people expected him to go to the finals at least, man. Everybody was saying he's going to drown out really quick, actually. <laughs> well, I heard some people say that they expected him to make a huge lower bracket run, which he did, in fact. He did. He absolutely did. That was a really good set, though. I got it, man. Really good, uh...